Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Ashenden, the new tortured release from Big Finish. It's a six-part story. Now, six-part stories are very popular these days, apparently. And what we've got is it's another one of those 1950s stories. You know, that whole post-war Britain thing. Torchwood Soho is what they've decided to call it. This is before, of course, the building of Canary Wharf. Norton Fulgate is by far the central character in all of these stories. He's the rather self-centred glue that holds everything together. Derva Kerwin, who got killed off in box set one, obviously returns because this is Torchwood and that's what it's for. And then you've got PC Andy from our modern day Torchwood. It's a great, fabulous team. Now, the thing that I hadn't spotted early on, and this is important, is that box set number one was based on Quatermass one, where you've got kind of um, an invasion instead of vegetables, it's fungus. So this one has got the same starting point as Quatermass two, uh, which is an invasion in a new town. And that's kind of the only similarities, but they're so, so vague a starting point is that you just don't even notice until you're halfway through the extras. And then the writer goes, oh, by the way, I did this. And you go, Oh God, yeah, that's right. Norton is a terrible, horrible person and simultaneously is completely our hero. A definition of anti-hero can be found in Norton. Absolutely brilliant. Now I've talked about Dervla Cohen being on the box in the past because the character she's playing physically in the description looks nothing like Dervla. Uh, it looks more like Margaret Rutherford, that's who's in your head. But obviously you've hired her, she's a big name, so you've got her on the front of the box. That makes sense. It's a great, no, this is a truly brilliant box set. It's not just great, not like other Torchwoods where you go, oh, this one's just a really good laugh, or this one looks at the human condition, and like that. No, this one's just a nice piece of 1950s horror. By the time you hit episode six, you've no idea how they're going to get out of this as a listener. You just sat there thinking, just everyone's just going to give up. How do we get from there to modern day Torchwood where this didn't really happen and you can't work it out because it's just frankly gripping and terrifying? Is it nearly an invasion? Is it about town planning? Is it about lots and lots and lots of different things? And the answer, of course, is yes. Yes, it's about the human condition, but it's also about how we are um, willfully ignorant of so much. So is this worth listening to? Of course, to be honest. Everything, all of the 1950s tortured. Actually, here's what we need to do. When Bad Wolf take over and they need to bring down a spin-off, just get James Goss and the whole of the 1940s team to move in to the same set as Call the Midwife. The BBC doesn't have to pay a penny more. And then set it there and remake these stories then. Because the BBC loves period drama, it loves spin-offs, you've got a perfectly well-prepared and pre-prepared setup here. Just remake these stories for TV. They'd be brilliant. Truly brilliant. This is the Torchwood we could have as a spin-off. Because it would work. Friday nights, no, Sunday nights, nine o'clock. That's what this deserves to be. The 1950s Torchwood is brilliant. So, if you're going to miss it, well... That's on you. But as far as I'm concerned, this is brilliant. Give it a go. Here's the trailer. Elizabeth Hay, Torchwood. I'm dead. What's your excuse? From Big Finish Productions, Torchwood Soho, Ashenden. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Ashenden. That's right, this way, this way. My name is Gideon. I'm from the Arrivals Bureau, and I'm going to be showing you all around our wonderful new town. Some of you are just visiting. Some of you are coming here for the rest of your lives. You're all welcome. London has been infiltrated. The Pimlico depopulation zone is infiltrated by an alien force. We are trying to contain it, but we need your help. 
The rogue operative must be hunted down. The rogue operative being? Norton Folgate. It's your job to hunt him down. Hand me a harpoon. Let's get cracking. There is life out there. Intelligent, curious life. We're going to find out what they want. They seem to want to make us better. Norton? Yes, Poppin? In about ten seconds, I'm going to scream. Oh, dear. The call has gone out to the slums, to the displaced, to those in our colonies. Come to Ashenden. You know what the time is? It's the time of the Hollow Man! <laughs> Big finish. We love stories. I'm dead and you're making me go to Hemel Hempstead. 